Here's how to change and pick colors in InDesign. As with all Adobe products, if you go to the bottom of your toolbox, you can find your foreground or your fill color, excuse me, and your stroke color. This is just like in Adobe Illustrator. To change up any one of these, simply click on it to bring it forward and make it active, and then double click, and this will bring up your color picker. The color picker works like all the other color pickers, choosing your different values that you need, and then saying OK. The next places to find uh, colors or commonly used colors are in your swatches. Now there is a swatches palette, and you can usually find it off to the right hand side. This has all of your predefined colors that you've chosen. Remember to have whatever color you want to change active. So if you want to change the fill color at the very top, make sure it's on top. And you can click a predefined one and it will change the fill color. If you need to change the stroke color, click on the stroke, make sure it's on top and then you can click on another color and it will change that color as well. So if I wanted to change the fill and stroke color of this text box, first of all select the text box. We'll make sure that the fill color is selected and then we'll just choose whatever color that we want to change. Another place to find the fill and stroke colors are at the very top in the middle of your tool options bar. Here's just the fill colors, and here is just the stroke colors, so they're both separated out. If you do select a stroke color, let's give this a red outline, you'll also want to set the stroke width so that it's wide enough so that you can see. The next thing to know about changing colors is how to change a text color. Let's look again at the very bottom of our toolbox. Right now, if I was to choose these two, these are our fill and stroke colors for the frame itself. To format the text inside of it, choose the T that's underneath the little uh, swatch icons. This will add a little T to your fill and stroke color. Now whatever color you fill in here will change the color of your fill color. Since I have this box selected, I'm going to double click, Whoops, let's choose the T, double click on this, and now I've got my free color picker. We'll say OK, change it to purple, or I can go into my swatches palette. With the T selected up here, I can choose a different color to work with from there as well. The final thing to remember is how to change tints and shades. Now this isn't changing the opacity, but you can have a lighter tint of any color that you have chosen. From here you can find it under here and slide it down. It's not becoming opaque, it's actually becoming more white. So it's getting less of that color that you have. If you need to add a color swatch, let's say we've chosen a color swatch that we like. Say I like this particular shade of green. From the color picker, you can either hit Add to CMYK Swatches. We'll say OK. And you can see it's been added to my swatches palette. Or at any time, if you want to add it, at the very bottom, you can hit the new swatch, and it'll create a new swatch from here. If you need to edit this, it's simply a matter of double-clicking the swatch. This will bring up our color swatch editor. You can change it now from a process to a spot color, or change a different color mode, or change up and tweak the exact color that you're working with from here. Remember to hit preview to see any changes that you're trying to create when we say OK. Now all instances of that color have been changed up.